In New York City, like 130 other cities throughout the U.S., fast food workers went on strike in protest of low wages and bad working conditions. Thousands of people gathered in Foley Square near the federal courthouse to support the striking workers. Among them was Samumba Sabukwe, a leader of Occupy Wall Street and OccuEvolve a movement that studies the evolution of Occupy Wall Street protests. We're here today to talk about economic justice. We're here today as part of New Day New York and the people rising up after 20 years of right-wing, quote-unquote, Republican rule, corporate rule. And we're here to support the workers at McDonald's and all low-wage uh, workers. And that's why we're here today. Organizers of today's rally are calling it a new day in New York and hoping with the newly elected mayor that things can change for the city's low-wage workers. This day has been crazy. I see a lot of new faces out here I never even seen before. A lot of new workers who decided they wanted to walk out. And this day has just been crazy. We took over how many stores? I saw Wendy's, took over McDonald's, Burger King. They even had, I know Wendy's in Brooklyn even hired security so we wouldn't get up in there. They, they hired security but they can't pay us more. What's up with that? Near the rally site in Foley Square, activists with the People's Power Assembly charged into various restaurants, chanting loudly in support of striking workers. There was a heavy police presence around the square as thousands of people from various labor unions and political organizations rallied. Many different elected officials spoke to the massive crowd. It seemed the protesters managed to get their message across to the government. President Barack Obama has called on the lawmakers to pass a measure that allows for the increase of fast food workers' minimum wage to more than $10. And now the Congress is expected to vote on the bill by the year's end. Caleb Moppin, Press TV, New York.